All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Um, so today is going to be another edition of Ask Surfside PPC, and today's question is: What are the new Bing Ads bidding strategies, um, specifically target CPA and maximize conversion? So, um, Bing Ads recently announced. So, at the beginning of August 2018, uh, they announced that they have two new bidding strategies rolled out to all advertisers now, um, and they're called Target CPA and Maximize Conversions. Uh, both of them are set up to basically help you drive more conversions, um, add more automation to your campaigns. Um, if you're using Google AdWords already, you're familiar with these two bidding strategies. They've had them rolled out for a while now. So um, Bing Ads recently just rolled it out. So um, what I want to do here is kind of explain the different Bing Ads bidding strategies. I just want to explain all of them to you. Um, so I'm here in Bing Ads now. Um, I opened a campaign. It's a search campaign, PPC agency. Um, so pretty basic campaign. So what a you know what it's supposed to be doing um, I'm not actually running this campaign I'm just using this for the tutorial um, what it's supposed to be doing is driving traffic to my website uh, so I can get leads uh, for my business so basically I'm trying to get new pay-per-click clients for my agency um, Google AdWords Bing ads really any of, the, any of those channels um, so I'm bidding on specific keywords you know PPC management PPC agency um, and I'm sending traffic to a contact us page. Um, if I was actually running this campaign, obviously it says at this time we're not accepting new clients. Um, if I was actually running this campaign, I would have a much better landing page here. You know, something that described the different services we have. Um, you know, I would do contact Surfside PPC about you know PPC advertising management. I probably set up multiple landing pages for different keywords. Um, so just some things that you want to keep in mind as you're setting up your campaigns, but. Um, basically, all we're going to be doing is sending traffic to this page. So contact Surfside PPC. When someone clicks send, um, it's going to go to this thank you page. Uh, so thank you. We have successfully received your form. Um, so in Bing Ads, what you want to do is if you come over to this conversion tracking page, what you want to do is make sure on your website you have your universal event tracking tag, your UET tag. You want to create your UET tag. So just go to the UET tags page uh, right here at the bottom as well create the tag you want to put it onto your website um, you can put it in between the header the body anywhere on your website um, so you add that tracking code to your website it's basically like Google Analytics it's like the Facebook pixel it's gonna you know track every single page on your website and then you can create conversion goals um, so right here conversion goals so you go to that page you set up conversion goals so we have the universal event tracking tag on our page um, so it's on this page our contact us page it's on our thank you page and the thank you page is actually set up as a custom conversion so we have anytime someone lands on this URL here uh, we want to count it as a conversion in our Bing ads campaigns so you need to be counting conversions if you want to use the new bidding strategies uh, target CPA maximize conversions and even enhance CPC if you're not um, you know tracking your conversion enhance CPC doesn't really do anything for you so uh, make sure you come here to this conversion tracking page before you ever set up your campaign uh, it's vital because Bing is gonna measure everything that's happening on your website every single conversion every sale every lead whatever it is um, you want to make sure you're tracking that so um, we come back here to bidding strategies so um, there's five different bidding strategies so there's manual enhance CPC maximize clicks maximize conversions and target TPA so manual is usually the one that you automatically opt to um, so manual basically says I'm gonna set a $1 bid um, for this keyword I want you to use that bid as my bid um, so manual gives you basically full control over your bids um, you're never asking Bing to change anything at all um, so it's manual is just you know very self-explanatory use the bid I set so um, enhanced CPC is where things start changing a little bit so you can only use enhanced CPC properly if you're um, measuring conversions so like I showed in the last step um, if you're not doing that enhanced CPC won't do anything um, but what it does is it allows Bing to bid up 30% up to 30% more uh, for a specific keyword if they think that keyword is most likely to convert um, so in the previous example we had a $1 manual bid if you set a $1 enhanced CPC bid Bing will increase it all the way up to $1.30 if they think that that specific keyword is going to be most likely to drive conversions um, and the other thing they'll do is they'll also put your bid all the way down to zero if there's a keyword that does not drive conversions for you so enhanced CPC gives uh, you know allows you to give Bing some of the controls and allows them to adjust your bid based on the data they have if it's going to help you drive more conversions so I usually set up my campaigns measuring conversions and the first bid strategy I use is enhanced CPC because um, as Bing starts getting more data they're going to start helping me drive more conversions with the data they're getting so um, 
you should only use manual if you're trying to drive uh, traffic to your website. But if you're measuring conversions, which you should be doing, um, basically no matter what kind of advertising you're doing, you want to use enhanced CPC. So the next one here is maximize clicks. Um, this is actually my least favorite bidding strategy across any platform. Um, clicks are pretty much worthless if they're not driving results for your business. So what maximize clicks is going to do is it's going to take your all your keywords and it's going to basically pick out the keywords that are going to drive the cheapest clicks to your website and it's going to use those keywords to drive clicks to your website. So what ends up happening is the keywords that are the most valuable tend to be more expensive too because advertisers are bidding more on them. Um, so if I find you know three keywords that are driving conversions versus three keywords that are not driving conversions, I'm going to bid higher on the ones that are driving conversions. Versions. Um, so what Maximize Clicks does is it's going to say, okay, we don't care about anything that's happening on your website. We don't care about conversions. We don't care about any of that. You have a $10 budget, for example. What we're going to do is try to send the most clicks to your website within that $10 budget. So the only way this would be, the only you know, reason that this would be useful for anybody is if you have a ton of keywords, maybe they're all exact match keywords, they're all relevant for your business, and you're just trying to cast a wide net and get as much traffic as possible. So maximize clicks is my least favorite bidding strategy. It's automated bidding. What ends up happening in my experience is you have, you know, basically three, four keywords that drive all of your clicks. Um, they're gonna be very cheap clicks, they're not gonna drive results, um, but Bing is gonna find keywords that don't have a ton of competition that are gonna drive the most traffic to your website, which is what you're asking them to do, so it's not like it's anything bad with Bing ads or even Google AdWords, um, but I just see it, you know, you should be using either maximize conversions, target CPA, or enhanced CPC. So, maximize conversions and target CPA, these are the new bidding strategies here, um, so, pretty similar I'd say um, the biggest difference is maximize conversions is where you just say okay I have a $100 daily budget um, you have this much data and I want you just to get as many conversions as possible within my $100 budget I don't care you know what the what how much you're bidding on certain keywords I don't care about any of that stuff I want you to maximize conversions so in order to use these two um, bidding strategies, you need at least 15 conversions over a 30-day period. So at least 15 conversions over a 30-day period, otherwise you can't even use them. So if I click on maximize conversions, it's going to say that you need at least 15 conversions in the last 30 days to use this bid strategy. Same thing with target CPA. So the biggest difference between the two of these is maximize conversions is going to just take your budget and try to drive as many conversions as possible within your budget. Um, you can set a maximum CPC, so you can say, you know, the most I want to bid on any keyword is $10. So it helps you control costs a little bit, but the downside to setting a maximum CPC is you're going to cut out keywords that are over that bid. Um, that might drive conversions for you. So it's kind of, you want to try to find the right maximum CPC. You might not even want to set one, but... Um, the downside to me with maximized conversions is you end up having days where you're spending a lot, not driving a lot of clicks, not driving conversions, and I feel like there's just not a lot of control with it. Um, so I, I've used it before. Um, I've used it against target CPA. I prefer target CPA because I think what you can do is you get you start getting all this data. So if I drive you know 15 conversions over a 30-day period, my average cost per conversion is $50. Um, basically, all you have to do is set your target CPA. You set it right at what it is. So you set it right at $50. You can set a maximum CPC. And Bing Ads is going to continue to try to drive uh, you conversions at this rate. So if a $50 conversion turns out to be you know, $100 in profit for me, for example, let's just say every conversion is $100 in profit, um, then you know, you're going to be willing to pay this as many times as possible. You might even increase your target CPA a little bit to say, okay, I want to get more. Even if my profit goes down a little bit, I can kind of drive more results. Um, otherwise, what you want to do is let's say you know every single conversion is only worth $50. You want to try to bring this down a little bit. So you try to get it to $45. Maybe you lower your maximum CPC bid to $9 or something like that. Um, bringing this down, your maximum CPC bid, can generally bring down your target CPA, but it's just something you have to test over time. So um, to kind of recap all these bidding strategies here, um, manual, I don't really recommend using manual or maximize clicks because it just means you're trying to drive traffic to your website. Um, enhanced CPC, so this is my favorite one to start with enhance CPC. So it's going to increase my bids up to 30% to try to drive more conversions. Um, maximize conversions, not terrible. Um, I, I think you should test these two against each other, target CPA and maximize conversions, but you need to get these 15 conversions. So 
Um, that's kind of why I went over conversion tracking in the very beginning because you want to start, you want to do that because if you're not using the three bidding strategies that take into account your conversions, uh, it's it's just not going to be as optimal. You know, your budget's not going to be spent as well, basically. So make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're measuring conversions. Um, Bing Ads has a great page here um, with all their different bidding strategies. It's all updated with the new ones. Um, so you can use um, enhanced CPC, manual CPC, and maximize clicks. Uh, with all these different bidding strat or these different campaign types, um, max conversions and target CPA is only available for search campaigns right now. Um, I'd imagine they're going to roll it out for dynamic search ads and shopping as you go, but you know it's just something where they have to collect more data and make sure that uh, that they're able to actually optimize for you. So, um, highly recommend looking at this page if you're looking for a little bit more detail. But we kind of went over everything here, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, make sure you ask any of your questions at surfsideppc.com slash ask, and we might make a video for it. Um, but otherwise, uh, to end this video, what I'd say is I usually start my campaigns using enhanced CPC. I set my own bids. Um, I usually find my bids using the Google Keyword Planner. Um, and then once I start driving conversions, once I get to that 15 conversions over a 30-day period, I'll switch to target CPA. So this is my favorite bidding strategy is target CPA. I'm hoping to have a video tutorial out for, you know, how to set up a campaign and eventually get to target CPA. So hopefully I'll have that out in the next couple of weeks. But otherwise, um, you know, get started in Bing. Make sure you're using it. Make sure you're optimizing for conversions um, and, and try to get to this target CPA bidding strategy. That's the ultimate goal for every advertiser who's using PPC. So... Uh, if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and thank you for watching our video today.